know you love life-changing stories, and I do too. One of my favorite things to do is to hear the testimony and to talk to someone who loves the Lord with all his or her heart, soul, mind, and strength. And sometimes in sharing their stories, there's an element of danger to it because in this particular case, Tanya Jimenez has a different kind of a background than maybe you or maybe me. And there has a little bit of a component of Muslim in there and Christianity, which is kind of strange, Tanya, isn't it? To have one parent Christian and one parent Muslim? Yes, How it did is. that happen? First of all, welcome. Thank you, Barbara. It's a blessing to be here. It's a blessing to have you. And so, to see you. Well, as always, to see you. And just as a quick sidebar, you are an incredible prayer warrior for us here at the station. <laughs> and I want to thank you for that. Thank you. And to God be the glory. To God be the glory. In addition, you are a mom, a wife, and an attorney. I am. Right? Yes. You practice here in Orlando? I do. I have the Lord's Law Firm called Righteous Justice in cool. Orlando. What sort of cases do you usually well, I Take. used to be a prosecutor, but now I do pretty much full service stuff. I do Good. family law, I do real estate law, I do business litigation and some criminal. And so wow. that gamut will interest. So well, your definitely. parents must have done a lot right with you to get a young woman like you to be strong in your faith, obviously, but also to see your worth in Jesus Christ, to be strong enough to go into a field like the law. I mean, you have pretty self, healthy self-esteem, right, Tanya? I do. And I, I just believe that's the Holy Spirit in me. And he just gives us the courage and the confidence to to walk on water, so to speak. Yes. Even though it might be scary going into it, um, we just have to have the faith in him. And when we just step out in faith, he takes care of the rest. Right. It doesn't mean it'll always be easy, right. but he'll see us through and he holds us. Well, it's not easy. Of his hands. That's right. I love that verse, just yeah. to be strong and courageous. And he does hold us in the palm of his yes. righteous right hand. But you have this strong uh, feeling about yourself. You said not necessarily because of what your parents did. I heard you say it's because of your relationship with Christ Amen. as a daughter of the king, right? Amen. And not in a prideful way either. Right. But we just have that confidence mm -hmm. in standing on his word and his promises are true. And if I had a Bible, I would hold it up right now <laughs> because his word will not return void. Every single scripture in there is truth. And there's something in that Bible for every single person, regardless yes. of what circumstance they're going through, mm. to just carry them through that water mm -hmm. of those storms in their life and, and be confident because we know we already have the victory. Right. But there will be storms in our lives. Yes, and will. would you say that you had kind of a tumultuous background growing up in a home where your your dad, you said, or your mom was Muslim? My mom is Muslim and is my dad's Muslim. Christian. They're to still this day. married. Okay. Just had their 47th wedding anniversary. So congratulations it's an interesting to them. mix. Thank yeah. you. And you know, my parents have always raised us in a loving home. They've mm -hmm. always taught us to respect and respect other religions, respect other people. So growing up as a child, I was more Muslim. I was, I was, I was Muslim. I, mm -hmm. I kind of went along my, my mom's faith and I would fast and I would pray and I would do all those things. But at the same time, my father would teach us about Christianity and we would observe Christian holidays as well. And I know some people are like, how is this possible? But that was just, mm -hmm. just respecting all religions in our family. Mm -hmm. But by the time I got in high school, there was something in me and I know it was the Lord now drawing me, but there was something in me like, I cannot worship God in these ways. So I started I started praying and I started asking God, God, how do you want me to worship you? And he showed himself to me. I laid out my fleece like Gideon wow. many, many times uh -huh. because that was a big decision. And he showed himself and he showed himself as through Christ Jesus. We have my husband and I, we have two boys and we have a, a little one from our marriage and an 11 year old from my husband's first marriage. But that family is glued together in our family and my parents and we're all close. And so God's just brought it all together. But there are times when you just have to step up and just take a stand. And that's why I wanted to be here today to yeah. encourage other people that there may be situations in their life. Maybe people know Christ or maybe they don't. And maybe they're from a background that might might cause them to separation from their family if they accept Christ. And I just wanted to be here to encourage people that when God calls you, he provides for you and you have an eternal family and it'll all work out to the good. 
to those who love God and are called according to their purposes, His you know, purpose. Tanya, a lot of people write to me, call me, email, whatever, and want to be on Welcome Home for whatever reason, to tell their story, to promote a book, whatever it is. And when I read your email, <laughs> I just said, she's amazing. She has to come on and tell her story because part of your story involves a certain degree of persecution coming from a background where your mother was not crazy about you becoming a Christian. And I'm sure people look at you now and they're like, is she Muslim or is she a Christian? I mean, if you're with you for 10 seconds, <laughs> we know you love Jesus. That is so Amen. obvious, not only in your countenance, but in the way that you speak about Jesus. But has there been persecution along the way in your journey as a Christian? I wouldn't say so much with my family because they were supportive. It was just sometimes you don't understand things until you experience those things. Mm -hmm. But I would say, I would say trials, yes. And, and, and it's not just because of the background of the Muslims and the Islam and Christianity in, in my family, but it's as the book of James says, count it all joy when you mm -hmm. face various trials. It sure. doesn't mean that you won't face trials because mm -hmm. it says when you face trials. So we're gonna face adversity. We're gonna face opp opposition. Jesus himself said that we are gonna face more persecution than he will mm. because we're coming after him. Mm -hmm. And you know, if anyone just watches the news for just a few moments now, it's so obvious that we're living in a different world than, right. than was right. even decades ago, even mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And I believe we're in the end times mm -hmm. and that's why God wants to harvest that last amount of souls and he wants to know about him. And Barbara, there's so many people who don't know about Jesus yet. Mm -hmm. And and that was why I wanted to be here. I wanted to Good. encourage people that there is a hope and there Absolutely. is there's a Jesus who wants to be your best friend. Just like we're talking that's right, right here. That's right. That's how God wants to He wants you to have your cup of coffee that's right. and sit with him and just talk to him like you would a best mm. girlfriend or a husband or a spouse mm. and just love on him. And you're gonna face stuff, but I cannot imagine my life, Barbara, mm. without Jesus Christ yeah. in my life. Because that's yes, great. I face trials, I face persecution. Yeah. You believe it. We have targets. <laughs> talk about target right. the store. We have that red target on us as believers. Okay. because we represent him and we have a very serious enemy who doesn't like that mm -hmm. so he roars around like mm -hmm. a walks roaring around like lion. a roaring lion yeah. seeking who he may devour but mm -hmm. We stand on God's word that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. And then we're more than conquerors because he sees us through and he's so faithful and loving. Tanya, you obviously know the scriptures. <laughs> I hear you spouting off incredible Bible verses as we're talking. If you were to give our viewers some advice today about your particular journey, you obviously, I would say, probably grew fast and furious, furiously <laughs> in your walk with the Lord. It wasn't maybe a gradual thing. Maybe you just you just were bombarding yourself with scripture. How do you do it? How do you do that kind of a, a mega fast spurt of growth like you've probably had in your life? I love that scripture, Matthew 7, verses 7 to 8, about asking, seeking, and knocking. Mm. And there's so many scriptures about if you seek him, you will find him. Mm. So it's just about just like if someone's dating someone new, yeah. what do you do? You spend find out about together. them, you yeah. spend time with them. So I just started and I was blessed in a transition from law school at the time to my next phase of life where I had that time to just immerse myself in, in the word and in, in, in God's presence. And the word is so important and I would just read and the scriptures would come alive. Wow. The key is inviting the Holy Spirit along yes. and getting in yes. worship as well. Because when you're in worship, when you touch the Holy of Holies in worship and you get that to that intimate place, my goodness, that it's just like a love affair mm -hmm. and Rima words, Rima revelation will just be downloaded in you. Yes. But the key is just walking in the spirit and making that time to get in the word, making that time to have a dialogue. It's yes. not just speaking right. and asking. It's also taking time to listen, which I myself yeah. need to work on because <laughs> I'm a talker. That's, but, <laughs> but reading God's word is listening because yes. that's his voice. Amen. All, all we did any particular day was to spend five minutes reading God's word. We could at least say we spent five minutes with him. We want to spend more time with that. We want it to be a moment by moment, all day long kind of a journey. But even five minutes, you know, I would encourage our viewers today to just purpose to do that yes. so that you can get to know the Lord in that way. Now, have you been in Bible study or do you do this with other people? or do you pretty much do this on your own? It's, it's, 
it's going to mixture over time. Okay. And that's where the key of just being led by the Holy Spirit. When mm. I wake up in the morning, I, of course, I just, I have a battle plan in the morning. It's, it's being a first striker. You first <laughs> praise and you just thank the Lord for just his goodness. And you just, you just love on him. And at the same time you repent because we, we sin every day. We all fall short of the glory of God, but yeah. thanks for the blood. We can just repent and that will just cleanse the way to direct direct contact to his throne room, and then just putting on that whole armor of God, pleading the blood of Jesus for myself, my family, anywhere I may go, and then just saying, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to do this morning? Mm -hmm. Even if people, like you said, Barbara, mm -hmm. have five minutes. Or, right. And I promise you, you give it five minutes and it's going to stretch out. That's and it's right. Gonna, and you're not going to get enough of it. That's right. And he just keeps feeding you. And it's not the same every time. So I might just start out with just reading the word or I'll hear a scripture and I'll go to it and I'll start studying it and tearing it apart and Bible studies and just being in fellowships mm -hmm. and just it's there's such a power in fellowship as well. Would you come back, Tanya Jimenez, another day and just encourage us with more of your story? Because I love visiting with you. I get so encouraged hearing your, your story. Would you please come back again? It would be an honor, Barbara. Thank you so much. Tanya Jimenez, wife, mother, um, daughter of Christ. Why does she have such healthy self-esteem? Because she is a daughter of the King and she is working for Him and living for Him every day of her life. And she's encouraged me today. I know that she's probably encouraged <laughs> you as well. So stay with us because we have more coming up.